Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm Evangelist Regina Barnett. You know that. And I'm here to tell you to speak life. Speaking life is speaking the word of God. And whatever you speak happens, share this live video to your family and friends. Let them know she's on again speaking life to us and I know you hear the sound in the background all the sounds I don't own the rights to the sounds nor the song and I just wanted you to know that before I move on it is speak life Sunday and I am so glad you have tuned in super glad that you are on here this morning share if you care that someone needs to hear about speak in life just like you. Share if you care. Share if you care. And also, we have our sign up, our cash app, to support and show us a love and say that I want to be a part of that Speak Life too. And our Speak Life word will be coming from Ephesians 4.22, putting off that old conversation. Father, bless us now in your word. In Jesus' name, amen. We are going to Ephesians. Four twenty-two. Let's look at that sign. Okay. So it says here that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful love. Put off that old conversation. Old conversation. The conversation before you gave your life to the Lord. You need a new language. Speaking life is speaking the word of God. Whatever you speak happens. So you want to put off the old sinful nature. One of the translations of the Bible says, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupt by lust and deception. He wants you to put on that new man where you're renewed in the spirit of your mind. In your mind, we got to become renewed in our mind. That's what it says. And then we, we see here again, another translation or another version of the Bible. It says here, Amplify that regarding your previous way of life, you put off your old self, completely discard your former nature. Completely discard your former nature. If you want to change in your life and you want to keep speaking life, you're going to have to put off that old conversation. I really like this, which is being corrupt through deceitful desires. It's being corrupt through deceitful desires. And let's see, let's do another. We have the CV version. You were told that your foolish desires will destroy you and that you must give up your old way of life with its bad habits. Give up that old way of life. Take off that old language and start speaking life. If the Lord would have wanted us to speak darkness, void, no form in our life, chaos, he would have said it in the beginning. But in the beginning, there was no void, form, darkness upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the water. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. The way you put off the old nature is getting into the word of God and letting the word of God get in you. You have to be renewed daily, reading the word of God daily, speaking words of life daily, and words of life happens when you speak it. Life happens when you speak life. Death happens when you speak death. Whatever you want in your life, no matter how it looked and how it feels, you've got to speak life. For it says in John 6, 63, my words are spirit and they are life. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. The word of God also says the word, the letter kill it, but the spirit gives the life. Somebody was telling me a story the other day and I let him know. I said, the letter kill it. When you go in court, the letter is shown. It's shown what you did, how you did it, no matter if you did it uh, 
10 years ago, five years ago, rather some people sell their record. And um, it says what you did wrong. But in the word of God, it lets us know he washed away all our sins and he died that we might have life and might have that life more abundantly. So the letter kill it, but the spirit gives life. And that's why the Lord wants us to give our life to him so we can be renewed in our minds. And when our mind is renewed, our words will be renewed and our heart will be renewed. So we can speak the things of God. We're speaking life so our life can change. We're speaking life so we can have deliverance. We're speaking life so we can have joy. We're speaking life so we can have peace. We are speaking life. We're speaking words of life. And it's not just a a word or outward challenge, but it's an inner challenge coming out to speak what you need in your life. You have to speak it. You have to put the word of the Lord on your lips and say it. You got to say it, say it, say it till you see it, see it, see it. The results of what you say shall come to pass. Death in life lieth in the power of the tongue. Your mouth did it. Your mouth brought you in there in that reckless situation and that your mouth can bring you to deliverance. Did you hear me? If your mouth puts you in a reckless situation, then your mouth can turn it around and bring you deliverance. Your mouth can bring you joy. Your mouth can bring you peace. Your mouth can bring whole house salvation. Your mouth, the words you say, what you put on your lips, what you believe. I know it's the, uh, what do they call them? The, the scientists and the, uh, theologists and whatever people get into the word. But I found out this is so simple. God said, let there be light. And there was light. And you can't, you, a baby, you can read that to a baby. Uh, one of my grandchildren, she turned in six and she loves to read. And when she was reading the Bible, uh, reading the Bible out, I was looking at her read and she was saying it. She was, she was reading it like she knew it and like it's part of life, but is, uh, the spirit, <laughs> she was reading it through her spirit and she was reading that word. When the Lord put his word out, he didn't put it back so it can return void. He didn't put the word of God out so it can return void. But he said, it's going to go and accomplish where I sent it. And when you speak the word of God, when you speak life, it's going to go where, uh, and accomplish where you sent it. He sent his word and he healed them. The Lord sends out a word. You can send out a word. You're just like him. He said, follow, fo follow Christ, follow Christ, be an imitator of Christ. What did he do? He spoke life. How did the world begin? There was no construction crew. There was not a journeyman. There was not a, because I used to work construction a long time ago, didn't, didn't make it in that field. I mean, I mean, I made it for the contract I was under and that was it. But anyway, they had journeymen out there. They had superintendents out there. They had inspectors out there. They had laborers out there. They had carpenter uh, painters. They had skyscrapers. They had everybody out there on that field. But the one thing, they made things with their hands. The Lord God, our God in the beginning, it was just in, in the beginning was God, not a construction crew. In the beginning, God, not an architect. In the beginning, God, God. God. He said, let there be light. And there was light. And I tell you today, what you speak happens because what he spoke happened. Light happened because he spoke it. Light happened because it appeared. That's why he wants to you to put out that old man, that old former conversation and wants you to put on that new man that's revealed through the word of God. He wants you to put on the new Man, let me see. I hear. Let me see because this goes a little bit further than that. And um, here we, he's talking about the new man it has to be renewed and righteousness renewed through the word of God. That's why you got to get settled in the word of God. I ask you all the time. Only two people can answer this for you is you and Jesus. But Jesus wants you. He said the word of God is settled in heaven. That's what the bishop said. The word of God is settled in heaven. But is it settled in you? Have you settled down and realized that the word of God won't change for nobody? The word of God stays the same. I was telling my daughter, I said, if you go back in history and get an old review journal that they used to throw in your front yard and you pick it up and you go get go online and get some information about the news back then has changed it's become a history but the word of god has never changed god said i'm the same yesterday today 
and forevermore. That's why we got to put on the re renew our mind, put on the new man, the new man. Here it is here. Wherefore, put it away lying, speaking every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one another. We got to put away lying. We got to put away deception. We got to put away doing each other wrong. We got to put away division and all that stuff. It stops us from growing in Jesus. He said, when they see the disciple, he said, the love you show towards one another, that's how they'll know you disciples. Not because you got the biggest car and both of y'all go to the car lot together. Not because you have, uh, oh, you're my prayer partner. Not because of none of that, but he said, the love you show towards one another, that's how you're going to know that you are are a disciple you have on love you got the love language you're not just talking uh about your brother and sister saying good things in front of their face but you're saying it behind their back and you're their member woman another my body has two hands two arms two feet one mouth two eyes one nose but in the body of christ all of us need our nose all of us need our eyes all it, it cracks me up when we think we don't need one another we need one another we need one another to help us get further in the lord to pray our prayers for one another where we can stay humble one another where we can stay humble see when we change our language when we change our thinking, when we change our perception, how do you see your brother? How do you see your sister? When you start changing your language, changing your thinking, it will change your mouth. It will change your words. And guess what will happen? It will change your life. You'll start speaking life. Why? Because when God spoke life, life happened. And when you speak life, life will happen too hallelujah hallelujah you're the one that the lord is looking for to change how are we going to do this we're going to change our language put off the old man that's full of mess the old man that's full of deceitful lust the old man that want everything for themselves the old man that won't humble themselves but pride is in the heart the old man, the Bible says that pride go before destruction in a haunting spirit before the fall, before the fall. I'm telling you, you got to speak life. Morning to your sister, Carol, my girl. I'm telling you, when you speak life, I say it again and again. If you ain't speaking life to yourself, how are you going to speak it to somebody else? The Bible said that the Lord will reward us through the spirit what we do in secret he rewards us openly our reward on how we are will come from private time with the lord if you're having situation you're having problems bring it to the lord cast all your cares upon him because he cared for you he cares about you my sister he cares about you my brother he cares about you and he wants you to start speaking life he said my words are spirit and they are life jesus spoke life he said i'm that bread of life i like when he says that he said i'm that bread that bread he said i'm the bread of life he said i'm i'm not some type of bread or this he said i'm that bread oh i love the word of god he said i'm that bread he's trying to let him know i'm the one that gave life he he breathed life into the nostrils of man and man became a living soul you want your loved ones saved you want people to change say breathe life in their nostrils lord breathe it in their nostrils that they'll change breathe it in their nostrils but you won't get nothing out of life unless you speak it you got to change your mind you got to change your attitude and when you do things happen things adjust why because we're putting off the old man and putting on the new man the new man the new somebody said the new the new is not the old and the old is not the new this is not the new. The Lord wants to do a new thing, but he can't put old wine in new bottles because it'll bust. You heard that in the gospel. It would bust. That's why he wants to change our way of thinking. He said, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind, in your mind. Somebody said right here, 
right here. No, it's here where your mind is. This is where the change comes in. Somebody say, my mind, this is where you think and what you think you're going to say. And what you say is going to go into the heart, out of the mouth, out of the heart, speaking the abundance of life. Out of the mouth, it speaks. But guess what? When you change your life, you don't have to worry about speaking life. You're going to speak life. It's going to come out. Whatever's in you is coming out. <laughs> it's not, whatever's in you coming out. Let's read this. It says, new life in Christ to put off your former way of life, your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desire. It grows. Whatever you speak grows. Whatever you say grows. Whatever you say is transformed. Whatever you say. So you got to watch your language. A lot of people say, well, I just speak my mind. I just speak my mind. I just speak my mind. No, baby, you got to speak from the spirit. From the spirit, we got all kinds of things going on now. Whatsoever man thinketh, so is he. But we got to watch our words and we can watch our life. We got to speak words of life. It says, and to be renewed in the spirit of your mind and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness. Say today, I'm putting on my new self. Don't matter what happened yesterday. I'm putting on my new self. You can only do this through the spirit, being filled with the Holy Ghost. You can't do it no other way. He said, and he said, after this, you shall receive power to become a witness, a witness of these things. You need the Holy Ghost. People are trying to speak like, that's why I say you are, mo you can be motivated or translated or motivated or translated. I want to be transformed. Are you motivated or transformed? I don't need motivation. I need to be transformed. When a man or woman or God is speaking to me, the Bible says faith coming by hearing and hearing the word of God. When they speak to me, I'm looking to be transformed. It might not get me right then, but I'm looking to walk out with something on my mind to be better in the walk. I walk with Jesus Christ. Should I say that again? Be better in my walk with Jesus Christ. Every time I hear, it's for me to be better with my walk with Jesus Christ. And that's why we speak life. That's why we say words of life. So if you ain't going to say nothing, people say, if you ain't going to say nothing nice, don't say nothing at all. No, if you're not going to speak life, don't speak at all. Because whatever you speak happens. Whatever you say happens. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You see, light came because he spoke it. Light appeared because he spoke it. Light showed up because he spoke it. Things were set in order. The stars, the moon, because he spoke it. The moon is still there. The light is still there. Thank you, Jesus, for waking us up this morning. It's still there because he spoke it. And in your life, it'll be still there for next generations to come. If you speak life right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Being transformed. This, let me read this right quick. And then we're going to close. We're going to be. I like this. And that you, first he said, you put off. This is the big one. You want the preacher to put it off. You want the reacher to put it off. You put it off. Because guess what? They only know your outside. God knows your inside. And you know your inside. You know what you need to put down. You know what you need to stop hanging around. You know what you need to stop saying. You know what conversations you shouldn't be a part of. You put it off. You put off that old man. He said, if you say you gave your life to the Lord, put it off. You're a new creature in Christ Jesus. Old things pass away. Behold, all things become new. Old things passed away. When you repeat, old things pass away. Behold, look, see, in the word of God, it's new now. It's new now because you put it off. And it, then he tells you what to put on. It's, uh, you know, when, what's this thing in the commercial? Wipe on, wipe off, <laughs> slap on, slap off, something like that. But he says, you put it off. You, not your husband, you. Not your family, you. You looking for everybody to change but you. You change and everything around you will fall in place. When you give your life to Jesus Christ and you change, everything around you fall in place.
I'm feeling more peace and joy than I ever had in my life. More calmness, more settledness, because I'm getting into this word and I realize this is the only true way to transform. It's through the word of God. Being renewed by your mind. We're renewed by the word of God. It says that here. And that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Put off the old man, the old conversation, and put on the new conversation. Created in righteousness and true holiness. And you say, how is that? By putting the word of God on your lips. For generations to come, God created man in his own likeness. I want them like me. I want them to speak like me. They will get it the way I got it. I spoke it and I got it. And I got it. And that's what he wants us to do today. My brother and my sister, you have to speak life. You want to change in your life? You got to put on the whole armor of God so you can be able to fight that devil. The Lord God in Luke 4 and in Matthew 4, 4 God the Jesus whooped the enemy's word. Man shall not live by bread alone. Every time he brought him a word, he whooped him with a word. He was prepared to whoop the enemy's word. He whooped his word and the enemy left him alone for a season. Left. And angels came and ministered. Angels came and can't come and minister. You know why? Because you still with that old language. But if you put off that old language and put on the new language today, your life will change forever. You walk by faith, not by sight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm excited about the Lord today and you should be too. My believers of Jesus Christ keep speaking life. But if you're not a believer of Jesus Christ, say it with me. Those that believe in the Lord and gave their life. What are you waiting on? Every knee going to bow. Every tongue going to confess Jesus is Lord. You got to repent, be baptized in Jesus' name. You got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Because Jesus' words are spirit and they are life. Today you can give your life to the Lord. Repent, be baptized in Jesus' name. Get filled with that Holy Ghost. You need it. You're going to be a new creature in Christ Jesus. Old things passed away. That old language gone. Behold, all becomes new. You said that today? Hallelujah, leave a detailed comment and I'll be sure to get back to you and give you more information on the salvation of Jesus Christ. You said that today. Heaven rejoices over one soul that repents and today heaven rejoices with you, you, I tell you. And my believers in Jesus Christ, come on, let's welcome my brother and sister that gave their life to, to the Lord, to the household of faith. Are we excited? We're excited about souls. We got saved so we can save somebody else. We got delivered so we can send deliverance to somebody else. Today, today, you can do that today. Today. I'm excited about the Lord today. Our t-shirts are here. We told you leave the hashtag. She is making those, she, our graphic designer, making those t-shirts by orders. And you put hashtag, I speak like two. Some of you, we already got you covered. This is Curl, my girl, a couple more of you. That's on here, we already got you covered. Your t-shirt is on the way. We need emails. That's what we need. We need emails. Emails so we can get your t-shirt to you. Excited about the Lord. I am. This word right here, it might not be a jump and shout word. But this word out here to put off that old man, that old conversation, that old language is a very good word. It's in Ephesians 4. You should go read that. Have fun with the word of God. Oh, how love I the law. It's my meditation all the day. It keeps me from having medication, the word of God. I'd rather have my meditation than some medication. I'm not saying come off your medication till the doctor frees you off but as you read the word of God you're going to start coming off because that word brings life and healing to your body 
He sent his word and healed them. Hallelujah. So until next time, we're excited about the Lord. And we want to tell you today, you got to keep speaking life. Because speaking life is speaking the word of God. And whatever you speak happens. I'm telling you today, you have to keep speaking life. Say these words with me. Let the words of the Lord Jesus Christ keep shining bright. And you keep speaking life. Because speaking life. Speaking the word of God, whatever you speak, I didn't say to, I said whatever you speak happens. Until next time, keep speaking life. Woo! Excited about you on here this morning. Keep speaking life. Speaking life. Love you, Sister Carol, my girl. I'll see you next time on the Speak Life Weekend.